Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. The channel is Deb's Nail 40th World. Welcome home, family. Let's sit and talk about this little situation that's going on in Britain, okay? Charles has become the king of his throne and ushering in new rules and regulations, cutting back on some that was outdated and he didn't like them. And yet, he can't even get his immediate family together, meaning his two sons and their wives. But they have him over there running their country. Woo-wee, woo-wee. And, of course, you know Megan and Harry have a, what is, what is it called, a movie or book coming out trying to put spotlight on how they've been treated in the royalness of the European world over there in Britain. It seems like the queen died and she didn't get nothing resolved when it came to those two boys and their comings and goings about each other. Now, for me, I can see what it is. It's total jealousy. You got Mr. Harry over there living his best life, going in between two different worlds, the royal world as well as the celebrity Hollywood world. And that may be a little bit rubbing um, salt in a wound of his older brother uh william because william is suspected to be the dutiful one the one to hold the line to keep the image alive and pretty much n don't be no rough rouser out there now harry has always been the party goer always have always will be and william has always been the serious one ready to take the reins from his dad and he sits on the throne and be king because i'm telling you i don't know why i really don't know why maybe it's the succession of how they one person dies they select the person next in line but we already know william got two boys okay and they're growing each and every day healthy and strong so if nothing happens to william as he gets into his 60s and 70s uh hopefully he'll be done had the uh taking the rain from uh uh, what's his name? King Charles. He'll be done taking the reign because maybe Charles will give it to him because uh, a lot of ailments going on at his age. You know, not saying to put him out the pasture, but I'm pretty sure he would like to be doing in and everything other than running that country over there. But since he was the next uh, successor in line, he had the total role. And, and moved in that way, in that fashion, because he really wanted the reins a long, long, long time ago. But you see the queen outlived several people. And I thought, to tell you the truth, she's going to be living out everybody, okay, over there. She's going to su just succeed the throne from all of her um, children and um, grandchildren. I just saw her being there over a thousand years. I ain't going to lie. Because mama didn't look bad at all to be her 96 years age. Seems like she was not aging, period, and point blank. And you, it was like, are you ever going to, you know, go into yonder land and, and mess up folks up there? Is, is it, are you an alien or something? Because every year you look the same. Every year, every year, every month, every month, every week, every week. You don't change, not one bit. But anyway, that's just my little rant I was going on. But uh, I just really think the boys need to get together with all their wives. They need to take a trip somewhere, just them two, and work out their differences. And then Harry can host his kids 
uh, will host William Kids over there in the States where we are. I don't know if it's California he's going to be living in. But he can uh, host his uh, nephews and niece for, you know, the summer or something. And then Megan and, and Harriet can send their kids over to Britain and during the summertime, of course, and let Kate and um, William handle his kids. It can be worked out very, very easily. But they are just too stuck in their own ways. Because Harry's like, I ain't finna give up my freedom. I told y'all a long time ago when I was cutting up and acting up. Before I met Megan, I got to live my life. This is not something that I wanted to be a part of. Even though I'm born of royalty. And I understand the, the certain appointments you have to get and be involved with. Because you're, you know, it goes by successor. You know, one pass, the other one got to take it up. And with the case of William, uh, if he passed and his kids were old enough, older adults, um, to take on the throne, it would be his two boys. And, of course, you know, it might be his, what do you call it, his sister after that. So, I don't see Harry, his kids, even coming close to uh, being a queen or a king. Just because of William had those two boys. And maybe he did it just for the hell of it. You know what I'm saying? He's like, let me knock you up, Kate. We need another boy. Let me knock you up, Kate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Until we get two boys on the throne. And uh, we will control this stuff until the day we die. But that's just my opinion. That's how I see it. Because everything could be worked out. If both parties want to work it out. Uh you know, religiously as well as good faith of, of being put out there. Because you don't let no woman come in and just, you know, tear y'all apart or make y'all see different ways of viewing, you know, your each other. Meaning the brothers viewing each other just because they wiser in they, they uh, head and in their ears telling them certain things that may not necessarily be true. Okay, because we know... Oh, uh, King Charles did their mama wrong. I mean, did her wrong as white as rain. I mean, wrong as, what is it? I can't think of the, uh, 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 a quick comeback for that one. But, you know, he was wrong. He was just a little playboy out there. Hell, he probably was playing, uh, playing on Camille. We don't know. Because if he cheat on one, he's going to cheat on the next one. So, it just is what it is. So, Charles really did put both kids in a bad place a bad head space and i don't think the kids ever really got over how he did their mom who is this okay uh how they did their mom or whatnot but uh you know it just seemed like it's festering it's festering and queen poor queen she couldn't get it together uh trying to figure out what was what with the boys. I mean, maybe she just tired and say, y'all don't have to work it out. Because this is just too much for me. I'm in my 90s. My latter part of my 90s. I ain't got time for this shit. Y'all need to get together, figure it out, and make a way where your, grand, your, where your kids can know each other. You know what I'm saying? And your wife's just going to have to come in some type of understanding that you can't do certain things, okay? Oh, my God. I'm about to turn this down. Okay, but anyway, we got a Entertainment Tonight article, and uh, we're going to be letting you hear the audio from what they felt about, it's an expert body language person from Britain, of course, and they're telling us what they see when they see the two boys or men together, okay? Archie and Louie are around the same ages. Mm. So what is that relationship like? Is there a relationship between the two cousins, between Archie and Louie? Well, I don't think there is much of a relationship between the royal cousins. I mean, there's an ocean between them, an actual physical ocean, yeah. and then there's an ocean between the brothers. Yeah. And so actually, you know, what Harry had always hoped for, for this closeness with the royal cousins, which is what he has mm. with Zara Phillips and, and, and Peter Phillips and all of his royal cousins, it's just never had the opportunity and um you know there hasn't really been a moment for the royal cousins to properly come together that's so sad i hate that this royal rift has just been this fascinating topic for so many people and you write in your book that you say that william hasn't been able to forgive harry stepping back for numerous reasons so now that william is taking on these additional roles and responsibilities now that charles is king of and head of the monarchy hmm. how will the brotherhood evolve 
from here moving forward now that they are giving these new positions? Will we see any sort of repairs in this rift between the Brotherhood? Well, I think everyone wants to see a repair in the rift because it doesn't do anyone any good to have this rift at the heart of the House of Windsor. Right. You know, I know that as much as, as the King has got big issues, and they are big issues, the Commonwealth, keeping the Kingdom united, I mean, that's what keeps him up at right. night. But he also has this familial rift that is overshadowing the start of his reign because it is generating headlines, it is generating talking points, and it is certainly something that he's going to need to sort out. I mean, I, in the process of writing this book, I really wanted to get to the bottom as to whether there could be a reconciliation, and I spoke to aides, past mm -hmm. and present, including one very senior aide who'd worked with the brothers for a good 10 years, mm -hmm. who knows them both and still speaks to them both. And actually, he was surprisingly confident that mm -hmm. there can be a rapprochement, but it is going to be some time down the line. And that is largely down to the fact that mm -hmm. William simply cannot forgive Harry, not just for leaving, but for how he left. So what do y'all think about that? Y'all heard the expert body language person speaking, and she also wrote a book on the whole climate that's in the um, around the boys and their roles or not lack thereof roles, and William holding on to this anger and upsetment instead of like embracing his brother because you never know he might leave this world, and then you want him to leave this world or he leaves this world angry and upset and missing his brother but don't know how to talk with his brother because William is the youngest brother so William I mean Harry is the youngest brother but William is the one that everybody's looking at to pretty much succeed King Charles because I don't think nobody taking Charles serious over there because they know what he done said and he done did while his mom was reigning and they know him they ain't taking him serious and he's still fussing at his his staff you know saying this that and the third and so he can be shit he need to be doing himself but he wants to be pampered so i think everybody's just a little mad over there that the queen died and she just left them in shambles because technically the queen i think could have said when she would hit her 70s i don't i don't want to do this anymore i want my son to take over this, that, and the third. But you see, it didn't happen. She reigned, oh God, till she was 96 years old, okay? She was reigning from her uh, sick bed. And that was kind of like piss poor. You know, you know you finna go up and yonder somewhere. Just set your son up. So if he's doing strange things or he's doing things that's not in line to where it should have been. Queen, you could have been there. She could have been there. You know, helping him toe the line and stand in the framework that they built their monarch on. All these scandals, all these in the windows, all this, you know, backbiting, um, cussing folks out. She didn't like none of that. And anybody that has a nice family, they don't like all that stuff either. They're like, get this stuff right before one of y'all leave the earth and it's still not undone. Words are not being spoken that should be spoken kids your kids his kids are wanting to know their cousins but yet it's a whole ocean between them william don't look like he likes to go to the states and it's just a big mess so i hope they get it together they need to get it together for the next generation that's all i'm saying so folks so family y'all get down there in them comments and tell me what y'all thought about it is it something they can fix is it something beyond fixing how can you have so much hate in your heart for a person that's supposed to be your relative, your brother, your little baby brother at that, William? Get it together. Charles, I thought you. I thought you, Charles, because you, you, didn't, you didn't teach them right. It's family over everything. Family over everything. Except for some real crazy bullshit. Then we just have to, like, just throw our family to the side or certain family members to the side because you just don't understand it. You don't want to be bothered with it. And you might catch a case. But that's all I got. Hopefully y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. Don't forget to subscribe and share and like my videos. And thank you for my family members that said they've been trying and have been uh, liking my videos and commenting as well as sharing. And I really appreciate that because sharing is caring, okay? And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.